But, and if you suffer for righteousness' sake, happy are you. Such suffering is a result of righteousness and not the cause of righteousness. We must not confuse the two, okay? And be not afraid of their terror, neither be troubled. Now, righteousness guarantees the protection of the Lord. If we take a look at Isaiah chapter 8, um, verses 12 and 13, it says, Say you not a confederacy to all them to whom this people shall say, a confederacy, neither fear you their fear, nor be afraid. Sanctify the Lord of hosts himself, and let him be your fear, and let him be your dread. Amen? But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts. All right? Um, set apart Christ as Lord in your heart. All right? And be ready always to give an answer to every man who asks you a reason of the hope that is in you. Every believer must know the word of God with meekness and fear. All right? And we should never come from a standpoint of, I'm more holy than you or holier than thou. Okay? Stance. Having a good conscience that whereas they speak evil of you as of evildoers, they may be ashamed who falsely, who falsely accuse your good conversation in Christ, your godly lifestyle. Those who falsely accuse you will be proven wrong. God bless you.